I've got a crystal here, and I happen to know the frequency. It resonates at 4.032 megahertz. When I look at the spectrum analyzer, what I'm seeing in the middle is my frequency right now. I have it on uh, 4.03, just outside that range. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly bring the crystal into resonance by adjusting the um, the, the function generator. I have a two volts going through on a sine wave. It, it, right now it's at 4.039 and I'm slowly going to drop the frequency and watch what happens. And basically what I do is I have, I have everything in series. So it's coming out of the frequency generator through the oscilloscope, the, the uh, reference from the oscilloscope to the other side of the frequency generator. I'm not impedance matching or anything. I'm just playing around. So watch what happens as I lower the frequency. That's 4033, 4033, 4033, and we can see it's it's leaving the area. I mean, this crystal, I don't know how, how old it is, but I'll, I'll bring it up to 4032. We'll see what happens. That may have been just a, a second harmonic. I don't know. That's, nope, so we've left the area. So this right here, yeah, actually, yeah, 4.032 right there, 4.033. So it's pretty much on. It's not that far off, but that's pretty cool. And as I turn away, the you can see all those those secondary harmonics. I mean, there's a lot of them. Look at that. We turn it away, it leaves again, and it disappears. Pretty cool.